Hi guys, in this video I am going to discuss what the difference between change data capture versus or change tracking in Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. So about the change data capture and or change tracking that I discussed in my previous video. So you should watch 161 and 162. Now here after that, so see the difference. So and here uh, this is the table I am going to use EMP. Okay, so inside EMP, oh, let's do add here editing. Now here after execute this query. So there is nothing inside there. Now here after I'm going to do three things add here. First going to delete. So delete that has been done. Now here after I'm going to or uh, do modification on table. So at here suppose if uh, uh, EMP number 7698 that change the job or uh, manager to technician. So let's write act here technician. Now here after I'm going to insert the record. So one update, update that has been done. Now here after I'm going to update the record. So let's write add a 4.5.0 and here Keep the name as make and here keep for add here on job track and here giving I did 98 and here 0 6 0 6 and here let's keep the salary 3000 bucks and here keep the DP number 40. Now I have done three things. First, delete, next, update, and hereafter, insert. Now, next thing is let's execute this query. So, add here, or since three things that is happen, so add here, you can check. So, one important point about the CDC. So, add here, one that indicate delete, two, insert, three, day before data before update statement and data after so add here inside to add here one so first to add here one okay so one that is for delete okay so one that is for delete so here you cannot find add here the EMP number Kevin okay now here after the next second for insert so I just inserted 4520 EMP number Smith and clerk 40. Now here after so data before update. So data before update that was and here job was Mac manager and after doing update so add here this is data after update here technician. So that means by using CDC we can or check add here historical and current records there now here after let's uh, see about so let's see about add here change tracking so change tracking i give detailed description in my previous video now here after so first i'm going to or do change tracking on the scott database so here you can find change tracking by default it's a pause so make that true Make that true. Now, if you want, then here you can do whatever modification you like. Now, here after click on OK. So, change tracking on database that is enabled. Now, here after I'm going to enable change tracking on or day table. So, add here go to properties. Now, here you can find change tracking by default. It's false. Make that true. Now, here after that, make that track column update true click on ok so it's updated now here after let's go add here add it now here after i'm going to do three things add here first that is delete let's delete that delete part has been over now here after i'm going to modify the name so id add here 118 going to change the name add here giving at a Christie. So name that changed. Now here after let's insert the record. Point here and here. Uh, let's
let's get the name add here Marte add here address that is birth now here after give add here phone number six double six double three so three things that I've done on or day one day one I've skipped that now here after let's do one thing so add here I'm going to or see add here what changes happen in the table select a start from change table so add here is got that is selected now here del 1 so changes select a start from change table changes and here del 1 so this is the table name here you can find table name now here if you execute this one so add here it's a displaying update delete and insert so add here the most important point add here now here you can compare add here so this is add here by using change tracking and here this is by using on cdc okay so here change tracking cdc so add here i've done update on add here or emp number here you can find emp number that is id on 118 so and here after delete so 119 here and here this is for insert 112 so it's giving the information but to add here it's not giving the information about to data before update it's a directly giving 118 id has some update happen but by using cdc it's a give add here or data before update so add here you can find so here this is the insert here so this add here 3 now here you can find job previous job was add here manager now it's a new job add here technician so data before update and here this is the data before data after update but here you cannot find it's a directly giving current record so cdc that it written historical records and as well as current record but add here by using this things so it only return add here a current record so current updated records add here 118 so this things add here it's a display so this is the important difference between or change tracking and cdc in microsoft sql server management studio okay so i hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you